You just tuned in to the greatest podcast in the world right now, today, this second. It's And the Wife with Anastasia. Do you know any girls who ever like do the whole setup with like candles? Or... I don't ask. I don't ask anybody about their sexual life. Come on. It's not open discussion. It's Should not. Should be like a Wednesday night. You're playing baccarat or whatever. No, then... the, the uh, baccarat. baccarat. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, well, the bunko at the bunko parties. Playing no. badminton. Badminton. No, we mostly talk about beating kids for some reason. No. That's always. <laughs> So yesterday I had this huge belt. And I was like, oh, bam! You want another one? Well, oh, another oh, No, because... Dip the belt ta- in the water. Talk about, talk about the uh, longest distance with the chancla. And... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I sniped him across the room. I was like, Whoosh. Did was a boomerang. Like 28 yards. <laughs> no, that was... No, it always did your turn distance into... In yards. When I did Bunko, it did always turn into somebody talking about spanking their kids. And I, like I said, I'm a pacifist. I don't believe in hitting anybody, not my children, not ever. I was never spanked. I know it wasn't, it wasn't necessary for me. It wasn't nece- not necessary for my kids. And so when those broads would talk about spanking their kids, it's like, who, what kind of person hits their child? Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the kid just needs to be hit. Were you hit as a child? Me? Oh fuck yeah, dude! I was I was horrible. Yeah, I was horrible. I was horrible. That's why you I were hit. You're like I deserved. That's it. why you were horrible because you were hit. You're like I deserved. Is that right, doctor? That's why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe you liked it. I don't know. What, were you? <laughs> what? I mean, you would be the one to know that at this table. But yeah. yeah, you should know. I've never Frank tried it. Maybe we'll wax. try it out tonight and see if he likes it. I'll get back to you. No, <laughs> get back to you. I need a full report. <laughs> Expected were you that. guys spanked as little I want, that, I want that in triplicate yeah. uh, on a rare occasion I would get the fly swatter oh no where on buttocks. the back of the head to my buttocks your naked butt to my ass no over the jeans oh well that's barely anything that doesn't hurt <laughs> when you're like a, your, your, your buns are only like <laughs> the size of buns a size of a hot dog but I don't know what <laughs> hamburger bun I don't it's know what that's big. called so the surface area of buns to fly swatter air ratio. Okay. It was much more amplified the force, the new And the, the, the kid jeans are much thinner. Yeah. The, Thin kid than jeans. Than the adult jeans. Mm-hmm. I actually don't remember if my jeans were on or not, but I don't remember <laughs> the I don't remember her specifically pulling my pants down <laughs> to do it. I don't think that was <laughs> even when we were listening to satanic music. Oh my god, that was oh, Oh my god. So when I first Your mom doesn't like that kind of stuff. So did you get in trouble it. for that? Yes. I, I, so I here's what corrupted happened. him, thank you very much. Nate, oh, I was no. a good, clean oh, yeah. Christian boy oh, no. until oh, yeah. this demon child oh, yeah. <laughs> This demon life. motherfucker came in with his horns. <laughs> my mom's mom was a big, ACDC. was a big Bible thumper. Mm-hmm. Like straight up. She always and, had them uh, things on her? She had she kept them things on her. Them Bibles? You know? She threw the Bible from across the room. Like she had a chocolate. Bible and a backup Bible? Like, like like the kind of person that would leave a tip at a restaurant as a little pocket Bible. Yeah. Right? Oh, fuck yeah. Like, you gotta have that. Like, Let me help you out. <laughs> She's got a choke over here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, so my mom grew up in that kind of household where there was no cursing. There was no... You know, she. We weren't super religious when I grew up. We never went to church. Mm-hmm. I've never once been to church, what? but I grew up in church. Yeah, <laughs> which I find weird because she was somewhat. He, did, he left church to come here. What? You were a church? Tonight? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Far no. from <laughs> the opposite but of church. Any he's sort the demon of child, the yeah, opposite. Yeah. Any sort of like demonic stuff my mom would lose her shit about like mm-hmm. she would not let me watch harry potter because it was black magic uh-huh. she it was, was not, witchcraft it was witchcraft she would not let me play pokemon because it was witchcraft or whatever why is pokemon witchcraft? i don't know i heard something <laughs> yeah. there was a whole movement about <laughs> she read some article probably read some article or whatever <laughs> and yeah so any stuff like that any demonic 
kind of like you couldn't say hell in that household oh, or you would get hell no my punishment is they would wash my mouth out with listerine and when you're a kid <laughs> listerine burns like a motherfucker yeah it's so they had put a big old swig in your mouth and you had to rinse it and spit it out if you said a curse you word. get some Ooh. fresh ass breath huh? yeah the, the one time my mom put dish soap in my mouth i looked at her and went uh <laughs> like give it a, like like i was like that's all you got me. bitch like, like take a bite from the soap bar kind of thing so. <laughs> exactly like you got bitch <laughs> i'm the devil child don't yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> just don't phase me yeah so um you know living in that environment i grew up like that and then i met this motherfucker mm-hmm. and he showed me disturbed you know that band oh yeah so i before this time i only listened to like Kids pop, <laughs> oh no, and like some some Smash Mouth. Okay, you know? maybe maybe Lincoln Park if you're no, edgy. not even really. Nope, I could have swore you did. Nope, and maybe anyway, um, yeah. So I was listening to Disturbed, and I was like, oh, bro, this is the jam, bro. Oh, I'm no. over here like, brr, 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 brr. and I think it was Ryan that started. You showed it to Ryan, and he started singing it around the house or something. Something happened where, like, I was always, I always had my headphones in. And my mom was, like, everything that I listened to, she would have to clear it. So I was not allowed to play rated teen games or rated R movies. And or... what age group were you in? Sounds like you. This was, like, fifth. It sounds like This me. was, like, I was <laughs> in <laughs> sixth grade. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it was always like this. Any movie I wanted to see, any No PG-13. Song, no. no PG-13, only no, no, G-rated. You no. Know. Yeah. He yeah. was in sixth grade. You're still a little kid. I'm I mean, with you. I was mom. watching Halloween at like <laughs> three. But See, that... <laughs> yeah, he was singing to himself <laughs> at two and a half and watching Halloween. <laughs> yeah. So don't tell me that you know that I think I turned out fine. Everybody thinks that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You corrupted this fool. Yeah. I mean and so... if I didn't, he wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. So anytime I would listen to a song, she would have to clear it first. And so I would always be having my headphones in when I'm walking around the house. And she's like, Boy, what you listen to? Mm, he was, was like, from the south. So huh? I was like, uh, <laughs> Come and get these grits. Come and get these grits. <laughs> I put cheese on them. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'd be like, Nothing. Change the song real quick. You know? And Nothing. so eventually she's like, Give me that fucking iPod and snuffed it out of my snatched it out of my hands. Snopped it, huh? Snopped it. <laughs> and um I remember this specifically. I was like in my bed listening to it and she like busted through the the bedroom door. Kicked the shit and in. She's like, give me that fucking iPod. She didn't scream. iPod out. that I loaded, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he, loaded, he, he downloaded the music onto my iPod. And she's like, let me see what you're listening to. And I was like, no. And I like slid the iPod underneath my bed. And then she was like you know, scrambling over me trying to get to it. It was on. We were like full on like wrestling the iPad and, and oh, she shit. gets it and she sees the song. And first of all, the cover art is like, it's not even that bad, but it looks like a demon on the front oh, of, no. of the cover. Um, it's like a hooded dude with the eyes. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what is this demon shit? And she goes to her computer, looks up the so- the lyrics to the song. Oh, no. <laughs> and then she's reading through it. And she's like, oh, here it says hell, go to hell. And here it says fuck. And here it says all these words. And she's like, you were banned from fucking everything. I couldn't, <laughs> took away my Xbox, took away my iPod. I can't go to Nate's house anymore. This you can't mess out with this kid. I wasn't allowed in the house until like high school. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she, I always had to go to my friend's house. If I ever wanted to hang out with my friends, I went to their house. They never keep in mind I went lived to my up house. the street. At this he was point. six houses down from me. Yeah, <laughs> and couldn't... if I went over to his house, we would hang out in his garage and on his driveway. Yeah, I would, it, because I was not allowed in that house. What I, did she I, think I, was going to happen in the house? Like, I don't know. Like if I walked in the house, she'd be following me with fucking your sage. Your spirit <laughs> would just <laughs> reach <laughs> out. His evil spirit tainting her home. She followed yeah. you with this. Yeah. She'd have yeah. to clear the room. Yep. <laughs> well, our house growing up was a fucking mess, uh-huh. so I think maybe she was embarrassed of that. Okay, is the best I can rationalize it, but I have no idea. And yeah, I was like, we got in huge trouble. I was like grounded forever. I was like, this is fucking joke. And then, um, and then, so she's like, all right, 
Here's your iPad back. I deleted all your songs. Oh, no. Can't listen to that music anymore. She was, knew how to do that? I don't know what happened. Something like that. Or she just, she made me do it or something. And then I hung out, with, finally got to hang out with him again because I was like, please, he's not a demon boy. He's not a demon boy. <laughs> He shaved his horns down <laughs> and <laughs> filed them up. From yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, no. He wore the hood over underneath. The, there's no horns up here, and uh, <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah. And then he he starts singing like an M. He starts singing to himself. He had a, a, a song since two stuck and a half. in his head since two and a half. Yeah. And I was like, what's that song you're singing there? And he's like, oh, it's this dude called Eminem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's and I good. was like, it's not good. I was like, the candy? And he's like, no, no, it's not spelled like that, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I said it exactly like that. Dummy? 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 Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and so he shows me the. The Marshall song. Mathers LP? I don't. It, no, it was um, Curtains. Curtain Call. Curtain uh-huh. Call. And it was like, um, what's the Michael Jackson one? Just Lose It. Just Lose It. Mm-hmm. You know what song? Um, and he's singing it. And I'm like, oh, this. I mean, I can get down with this because I can't listen to demon music. Yeah. So. And that's definitely not demon music. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's funny because it's like fucking shit, piss, all this shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to It's m- way worse. murder myself. So did your mom hear that? Did she clear that one? Yeah, way? and so then I am I put that on my iPod. Mm-hmm. And then she, the whole thing again, because she's on edge because <laughs> can't listen to any of his demon music. And I'm like, oh, no, it's Eminem. And she's like, Eminem? Oh, <laughs> I guess. Okay. So she fucking gave me the pass on Eminem. <laughs> I was like, are you fine? She's like, it's not demons. It's just bad guns and murder. And so drugs if and she was worried about you going to hell, why did she ever take right? her to church? Oh, yeah. Right? Th- this is the, I have, I like have the no best idea. Of, right? Did you ever ask her? No, never asked her. I think they just, they were religious in terms of they believed in whatever, but yeah, they cool. just weren't church going I also people. think we reached a point over the years where she just gave up. Oh. She 100%, we 100% broke her. Oh. Me and my two brothers. <laughs> poor mom. Tell like, oh, she deserved it. <laughs> she oh. deserved it. She deserved it. it. She was going off the edge. Like, I, yeah, like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go across the street without her, like, having to watch me. You know, she would... St- I mean, I get it. Fucking yes. the mom and protective of the kids. She don't want her baby boy to kid. My baby boy. But it's like, I can't, I'm I'm not developing as a child. I'm not interacting with other kids. I'm I mean, not growing. You're the middle child of all things, too. I mean, come on. I know. I'm supposed to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you know? She wanted to stop that shit from happening. <laughs> yeah. And I think eventually, um, me and my brothers, we, I don't know, we just decided on our own after watching some videos or whatever we were just like yeah this religion's bullshit man <gasps> and did you say uh, that's your mom no but we kept like picking away at her like oh. you know and eventually she just you know gave up or whatever <laughs> she just stopped trying to get you to <laughs> go to church stopped. she never tried to get us to go to church but she just stopped believing in god but she went to church she stopped no. believing because yeah. of you guys yeah you took her faith yes. from her 100 percent. wow oh, gosh I mean, worst if, kids if you've ever met his brothers you would probably do the same <laughs> <laughs> dang you know like the edgy atheist stereotype where it's like oh well this verse in the bible is bullshit because yeah you know we were those kids because <laughs> we thought we were so smart because you did the research we did the research on the bible with like, like we... one google search at least yeah yeah <laughs> Just whip your phone out. Be so like, Nate, don't you, tell me you were raised going to church. Uh, yeah, up until I was like ten, maybe. And then what happened when you were ten? Did you tell your parents I don't want to do this anymore? Or? No, it's just some other things in life caused us to kind of move on. And so that you guys all move on as a family. It wasn't just you individually. Uh, it's kind of as a family mm-hmm. almost. We just kind of stopped going one day and just didn't. I mean, and uh, as well as the fact my parents knew I don't believe that at all so they just kind of stopped forcing it on me and let me do my own thing so uh, unlike his my parents were a lot more understanding of that and they didn't care about your devil music I mean, what do you think the devil music came from? They were the ones that came showed from his me dad, all the stuff. Yeah. yeah between my well mainly my mom even <laughs> well the stuff you showed me 
well, was... Disturbed and like Metallica, yeah, yeah. came from my dad. But Eminem and Not Metallica. Yeah, a bunch of others, all absolutely yeah. my mom. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think that's so crazy. You know, Did... I, I gave my mother faith, which is the weird thing. And around. Well, because I used to go to Catholic school. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody had to. Um, we church was part of school, hundred percent, yeah. And uh, I wasn't baptized. If you're not baptized, you can't have the, you know, communion. The, the huh. communion. I've been baptized three times. I know. Really? <laughs> three times. The first Why two three didn't times? take. Three times. The first two Why? didn't take. Yeah. What? How does that even? Happen? It's like doing a firmware update. The yeah, first two like, times. Uh, I don't think this one works. It's it's, it's called when they don't think it worked they just you know throw like, me under again this, kid, this kid is causing too much trouble he's too demonic i'm not sure did we did we do that? i don't, I don't remember it, he seems to be pretty maybe evil the, maybe let's the, throw him back <laughs> in <laughs> maybe the second in. two times my mom like called his mom was like hey can you do me a favor dip this kid again, <laughs> this kid again. <laughs> slap him in a couple more times no, but everybody was getting communion and stuff, and I couldn't. Yeah. And so I wanted, it was like, can we just go to church? And I was really like, oh, let's go. And then by the time I, that was elementary school, middle school, I was still really into it. By like high school, I was like, I don't want to get early on Sunday mornings and go to church anymore. Screw this. Yeah. And so she was really in the church because I forced her into going. Sure. <laughs> because I felt like I had to because right. I was in school. And then I didn't want to do it anymore. But then she's like, no, you still have to go to church. <laughs> and um, like so, the tables have turned. Yeah, the tables have turned. Now I have to go. And I it was I made my own prison. I built my own prison. And mm. then I didn't believe anymore. Mm. And I still had to go. Yep. And I was oh, like, I don't God. believe in this stuff anymore. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's bullshit. not real. Yeah. And then she's like, you still have to go to church. And not until you're 18 years old, you have to go to church. And so I was like, this, my father never went. He was mm. always sitting at home, chilling, watching sports. It's like, yeah. <laughs> he's got the like, Pinterest right. open. <laughs> yeah. I was like, he's getting his setup going. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, let me. Because the, the house door. is empty. The only time the house was ever empty and he was at home was when we were at church. That's probably that why perfect. he never that went. Perfect oh, yeah. That's, That's a perfect setup. That's a perfect setup. Getting Guaranteed his jack set up ready. He was on Pinterest all day. For that. <laughs> yeah. And we were gone forever because we went to a Pentecostal church. And oh, so we probably oh, cranked two or three out while yeah. you were gone. Uh, that's, I don't. Ew. 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 <laughs> oh, he's watching sports. Yeah. He was watching sports. Mm-hmm. Is that what they call it? Yeah. <sighs> Stream wrestling. Super close. <laughs> Extreme wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, now I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't at one point, so his, um, that same ex-girlfriend who was enemies with mine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, didn't you like guard. go to church a couple times because they wanted you to or some shit? I would. I, whole... I went into seminary with her a couple times. So... I'm surprised they let me in your house because I think the tables were a little bit turn i remember at one point you know we would always be doing some shady shit every time (laughs) we were at your dad's house like uh one time his dad came into his room and we were super into making ramen back then Mm -hmm. (laughs) and so he's got a cup noodle going and the steam off of it is coming up and he's faced towards the wall and the the door is behind him oh (laughs) and then there's this plume of of ramen steam going above his head but you can't see oh, the cup yeah that's the yeah. Steam out. Like he, he comes in and he's, he's like, like what the what fuck the is that is he turns on? around and he's holding that was noodle. one of the most stern like what the fuck are you doing kind of moments i've ever had in my life i, I couldn't even imagine I like, walking into I was like, so I like, his room i like so turned around funny. in my desk chair with the noodles still hanging out of my mouth <laughs> yeah literally literally <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally he has the noodles out of his mouth in the spoon there and he's like what? <laughs> <laughs> so both of you hilarious. try to break your what? parents. This is what kids do. They just want to break your That's and like right. spirit. That's it's right. like parents are wild Beat horses, and, and the kids just, like, just break whoosh, their spirits. Like I never want to. I'm never gonna run out of pasture again. This is it. <laughs> like so maybe maybe my dad's, but not my mom's. No, she was always, she was always kind of on my side. So <laughs> I, I didn't have that that issue. Like like he did, you know. But my dad's house, absolutely. I was the rebellious pain in the ass. That... <laughs> Do you tell your mom I caught him doing ramen? Yeah. <laughs> motherfucker's doing ramen again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I swear, my dad always tried to get me on that and report it back to my mom, and she would, she would always just laugh. 
because i'd always hear about it as soon as i went back to her house you know she, she'd be telling me like you know your dad called me about this right and i'm like yeah. about, about the ramen <laughs> about the ramen or things like that <laughs> like, like as a joke i mean he wasn't serious he was serious he still is serious you did have a vape though i mean yeah i, mean, <laughs> I, I was smoking at that time anyway so i mean yeah he, he, he had reason to be suspicious but he still yeah, never but actually caught time. anything no, yeah, yeah, but it's funny. He didn't actually catch him in the act. He could have, but it was just Spun wrong. around. <laughs> yeah. like, it was so funny. I was sitting right next to him. <laughs> like, saw the what? whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it was... It was... <laughs> the ramen noodle slurping up a ramen noodle. Yeah. As much as it was, he, wa- he watched me make it. It sounds like a scene from a movie. Like, yeah. he's, all, he's all like... <laughs> <laughs> the smoke's coming up. He turns around, what? <laughs> I do nothing. Yeah. There was one time we went to a what? A... I not do nothing. <laughs> I not <Yeah>. do nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that was the epitome of being at my dad's house. Yeah. Well, the epitome is when we went <laughs> to the storm drain. <laughs> <laughs> what? We had. This was the most incredible entra- contraption I've seen to date. Okay. It was a bong, but it was a plastic water bottle just an arrowhead water bottle mm-hmm. with a highlighter that was hollowed out jammed into the side and then the top of a soda can the little opener flick metal tab yeah. thing was like <laughs> the bowl that you stuck on top and glued it in and so then <laughs> so that's the stem yeah, yeah 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 so then you, you you draw on it and then you pull the little tab off yeah and then you clear it <laughs> It's like a full bong made of <laughs> highlighters and water bottles and soda things. Somebody's fucking MacGyver, huh? Oh my god! I, mean, I was like, this is an incredible contraption. Was it <laughs> all that half baked where the guy used to make a bong out of anything? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could if you had to pick between the two of us, which one of us, which one of us was that guy? I'd like to see you guess. <laughs> oh, Robert? No, Nate. <laughs> yeah, Nate I think he learned that the, from you're the MacGyver, a bong MacGyver. I was. I Didn't was you the, learn that from the percussion? Bong-giver. I was always I learned, like the... I learned it in percussion. Yeah, I I was the guy that could make a bong out of anything. Yeah, like Nate the was the one always contrapping some weird thing to do it, and I would always just partake. I would so always you think just you're go most and buy. Blown away. I would go and buy a glass one. <laughs> what was I, your best build? I think. Uh, well, I mean, all of them were pretty stupid because I mean they were all plastics. So, yeah, I mean, that's terrible. Didn't they for melt? You. Uh, no, I mean because you use a socket with a headphone screen for the the bowl, and then you're yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're lighting metal at that point, so okay. you're not melting plastic. But uh, <laughs> come on now, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. You, this is like, like basic basic science of some Duh. kind. Yeah. Okay, get with the times. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. It's 2021 I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say that that might be a reason why we might be a little slow sometimes. But <laughs> well, you know, we might have stunted our brain development. <laughs> those plastic heated chemicals. Uh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so we do that in the storm drain, and I I don't know if I've ever been that high since then. Since the storm drain? Because I was... Not even in the hotel room with the LSTs. This was maybe my LSDs. second... <laughs> That's another time. Um, <laughs> that was like my second or third time smoking weed ever. Uh-huh. And, you know, I was... I was stood a MacGyver, up... MacGyver bong? No, no, no. It, just other... One time was like the car ride uh-huh. from last time. He's talking about just with the MacGyver setup in general, but that was definitely with the MacGyver setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and um, I like stood up and I started like swaying, you know. And so we Been made there. it back to his dad's house. Uh, why would you? <laughs> why would you go there? <laughs> because my mean while my dad was suspicious all the time, he didn't have the sixth sense for it. Like <laughs> he didn't smell you guys reeking with in weed, like. <laughs> Okay. He he was completely kind of oblivious. So you okay. know, my my mom's house is one of those ones where you can't you can't get away with that. You like okay. you, you'll you'll step on the over the property line and and a light bulb will go off in <laughs> her head. Someone's been smoking weed and, and they're approaching like my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we sat there. We and have ate. incoming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All we right, sat so there and ate. Dance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like laying on his bed and I'm like the whole room is spinning. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, I can't even... I'm panicking because I'm like, how am I going to handle myself in front of this dad? I think Start I remember the... like they made dinner that night. You know, yeah. the, the, the Mormon family with two young kids and everything, like the typical... Was it Wednesday night? Was it FHE? 
it's okay. It was like I, it was a weekday. I don't yeah. know what weekday, but, like Tuesday or some shit. But it, it was like the typical like Mormon family setup that mm-hmm. you would expect. You know, the, the live forks lo- and knives, the live, love, s- laugh in the living room, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and fork all and that. knife set up with the napkin and. Yeah, so I remember we like got. I think we we got dinner, and rather than eat at the table with the rest of the family, we we plated our food and then went to my room without Straight. saying a word. <laughs> we, yeah, we literally did. You're like all hyper focused, like eyes wide, like yeah, uh, just completely uh, silent. Uh, <laughs> like, like now, yeah, you felt it was, like it was an yeah. hour, but it was really like thirty yeah, seconds. I think. It, I think the process of like uh, it was like lasagna or some crap yeah. like that, but the process of doing it was just like slow mo, <laughs> <laughs> like grabbing the food, and, like, perfect, and, and setting it's it laying, it, laying it down all quietly on the plate. And now pulling like, the spatula like, away slow. Despite the fact that they can see me, if they can see, if they can hear me setting this down, they'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta set it down gently. Can't let the spatula <laughs> touch the plate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so in my at my household, it was more we we weren't like sit down at the family and dinner and f- around the table and whatever eat as a family. It was more like come down, get food, and go back to your room and eat it. Uh-huh. That's kind of how we did it. Mm. And so I think I just instinctually did that. And I think maybe you just followed me. I just me. followed suit because I <laughs> there was no comprehension. And I didn't like yeah. process that I was being disrespectful. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sitting like, here fucking. This is just what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And I, so then later on, he was like, why did you guys just leave? <laughs> you guys just walked into your room. We were in the middle of something. Yeah. In yeah. the middle of what? Being high. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were programming or something, probably. Yeah. Because I remember I would have my desktop set up and I'd put him on my laptop and we would do yeah. like game development or whatever we were doing back then. But uh, it's just the best nerds. time to do it. Yeah. yeah. I remember I was looking back at that code like the day after. Yeah. It's just, just like, like, what it's is like this? well, this is some genius level shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. You're like, why is there 3,200 like, lines? Delete all this. <laughs> You see, it was more of like there were 32 lines and a bunch of like spaces. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) One line, 100 spaces. So, dude, you got to tell Anna about the LSD. Uh, didn't didn't I say it on the no, last? No, you podcast? told me you told me about it one time. Okay, uh, it was have like I said a anything bachelor about party? it? No, it was a bachelor party. Or bachelor something. party. Oh, okay, Bash- so oh, the how many first times? time I've done it several times. Several. And, okay. Um, I guess you enjoy it. Uh, not anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> if you do it enough times, you will not enjoy it. Anymore. Not since the incident. Yeah, it's the between, incident between that or the shroom sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! There's several Shroom stories. Sitting? There's two stories. Yeah. There's two stories. Start with your LSD one since they asked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, well, you weren't there at the. I was. The, I was. On. I was on the on the the phone for that one, keeping live updates. On oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, you got to break live in. Live updates. Yeah. What was happening? All right. Okay. So my boy was about to get married. Uh huh. Okay, and he was like 21. Okay. Or not even 20. <laughs> It's too early, yeah, was, I think. He was, but he was twenty. He was twenty. <laughs> okay. And so it was myself, him, and then our other friend, and we all were like, "Oh, dude, you're about to get all, you know, settled down. You're not going to be all crazy anymore." So we had to do the bachelor party, and we already were like, you know, smoking weed or whatever. But he was like, "Man, I got, I know this guy." He always, for some reason, attracts the type of people to come up to him and be like, hey, uh, do you want to buy some drugs? Yeah. And then my boy's like, hey, yeah. Yeah, duh. <laughs> duh. Of course I am. Look at me. Every job. He's had like, <laughs> yeah. He's had like five different jobs. And like day two of each job, someone will come up to him, like another coworker, and be like, you want to buy some heroin or something? Okay. <laughs> heroin. It's like, whoa. It's always something cra- Like, you would think. The worst thing. You would think you would be like. They walk up and they're like, "How many eight balls you need?" Yeah, exactly. Like, like they're, they're haven't even been forward. introduced to each yeah. other yet. Yeah, exactly. And he's like, "Well, I mean, just four, <laughs> four, <duh. laughs> four is common, right? Four. Yeah, it's always like it's not like, hey, I'm selling weed. It's always like, oh, I sell fucking LSD, <laughs> crack, um, cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually psychedelic. So I don't know if you know this, but kitchens." everyone's on drugs like that whole I, and chef i tell culture, anna all the time that whole, and she never believes me every everybody in the kitchen is ever cooked fucking a meal high. for you is blasted out of their mind either drunk high why it's just because it's know just so it hot is. in there and they you gotta take coke, their mind off the coke heat Coke is the leading drug in yeah for sure coke yeah what 
what? It's hard work being a chef, cooking for 100 people or whatever. I don't so know. So you think your boyfriend, Farvro, is just high all day? Probably, he's not really pr- a chef. Probably when he's doing the, the <laughs> show, but, but Roy Choi, he's definitely high all is the time. Is that why you can't talk? Yeah, that's why you can't talk when he's on the show. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he works in the kitchen. So he uh, he's around that all the time. Mm-hmm. So he got someone to come up to him. He's like, you want to buy some LSD? Uh-huh. And he was like, yo, Robert, we got to uh, do this for my bachelor party. Okay. And so he got three. It wasn't the day before you got married, was it? No, like a week or something. Okay, that's yeah. All right. <laughs> it wasn't the night before. No. Like you. Uh, they they Ugh. they offered for me to be on that trip as soon as and they Nate was like as soon as they mentioned LSD I said nah I'm out. I was like that's, that's, that's you're too, out you don't do that stuff heavy I stuff do. no no no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck with that shit so uh, so he wasn't like your designated he wasn't your no nope. oh, I knew where they would be that's why I just kept on the phone yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. we no. kept everyone in loop in the loop we we sent out the invite and that was who hey showed guys up. guess what hey guys who showed up who fuck wants to do strippers we're having LSD we're gonna do hardcore drugs. <laughs> Fuck bitches. <laughs> yeah. And um, so we rented a room at the Vidara. Okay. And I got like the executive suite. Mm-hmm. It was like the corner suite. So it had a living room and a separate bedroom. Uh-oh, it was life. like a baller. And it was like, <laughs> I don't know, 300 bucks. Oh, baller. For the night. Between three guys, 100 bucks. It's not that bad no. for a room like that on the strip. And um, so... We started at like four o'clock or something and we popped the tabs. I had done mushrooms before this. So this okay. was not my first psychedelic experience. Um, so I didn't really know what to, I didn't have a great time doing mushrooms. <laughs> so I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I'll be there for my buddy. Mm-hmm. And it was fucking awesome. <laughs> it was crazy. We were like glued to the windows, you know, like okay. we were like fish in a, you know, fish tank or whatever, trying to get out. Like, oh my god, what's going on out there? <laughs> There's all kinds of fucking. Nate's dying over here. Yeah. We see like airplanes swimming through the sky. And, like, okay, all the swimming through the sky. Yeah, because it looks like we're in a fucking fish tank. And so okay. and you turned all the lights off. Uh, yeah, we turned all the lights off. Not a single off. light came on that entire. No, night. no, no. We kept that. the lights <laughs> off. We just opened up all the curtains. They had motorized shades. It was like all. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, Sophie, It maybe? was Control Four. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I took the TV down, unplugged the Control 4 box, plugged in an Apple TV and put it back up. I brought my bookshelf speakers. No, you I was didn't. like, this is, I fucking kid you not, dude. And I'm like, this is going to be an experience. <laughs> <laughs> and so we put on like music and, you know, the Apple TV screensavers. Yeah. Dude, those things are nuts. <laughs> they, they didn't even we watch the literally, Apple TV. They watched the screensaver. We, did, we, got, we were like, oh, let's put on some music. And so we booted up the Apple TV, and it showed the screensaver, and we never left that screen. <laughs> or or put like, on music. Or put on music. It was for, silent. For like three hours, we were like, whoa, look at that. <laughs> what? Okay. Is that the ocean? Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, they're, Think they're, of how many grains of sand are on that yeah. beach. Meanwhile, like, him and the, the bachelor here, the actual main guy for this, yeah. are, we're all in a group chat. And the whole time they're watching this and doing this, they are texting, blowing up this live chat, updates. Like you need to see this fucking screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to check this fucking shit out. It's insane. Oh my god, best fucking screensaver in the and world I, ever. I'm sitting at home, like I should have gone just to watch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. like, you need yes. a designated walker. <laughs> like I was dying li- listening. to We what these spent guys are doing. like five hours, like. We're like, oh, dude, yeah, it would be good as some food, but how do we get it? Yeah, we can't leave here. What if someone knows we're high? Someone should invent a way to bring food to your room. Someone should invent like a, a way. service, a service for your room. You pay money and they bring the food to your room. How do we do that? A service for your room where they bring food. Service like, for your room, like uh, like a room service. A ser- That's what they should call. They it. should call it room service. <laughs> And we're like, can they deliver? Does Domino's deliver to hotel rooms? No, you have to buy their forty-five dollar no, shitty you can ass get pizza. Get food delivered, and we're like, pizza delivered to hotel. Can we Postmates, and can you Postmates, and we're just having this existential 
<laughs> problem of of just because like, they're trying to brainstorm uh, ways of how to get food. Yeah. So but, did you ever leave the room while you were? Never left nope. the room. Could we you? stayed in there. Were we, you scared to leave the room? Yes, because we were like, we can't go in public like this. We're gonna start like eating people's faces off. Like that's <laughs> no. What? You don't want to do that again. You don't want to do that. Not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Not the last time. That's what happened yeah. on mushrooms, and that's why you're over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was a plastic burrito. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was a plastic <laughs> burrito. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> and so we're like, but what kind of toppings should be on a pizza? I mean, pepperoni. I mean, Obby. that's just so classic. That's, Common. but it's just so boring. I mean, <laughs> do we really want to make the guy go through all the work of putting the pepperoni slices on the pepperoni on the pizza while he's assembling it? I mean, we don't want to make him do all that work. Let's He's do no fine. pizza, no no pepperoni, no cheese, sauce on half. Just the crust. And just the crust. And then we just couldn't navigate the app <laughs> to like do all the things. So he just gave up at one point. And so my boy pulls out of his pocket. He's like, I got y'all. He brought one granola bar just because he figured. <laughs> Emergency granola. He was like, He's like, maybe I'll get hungry This later. is what I prepared for. And so we all split this, this the little moment. granola bar into thirds. And we each, like, toasted it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a ceremonious moment. Like, to friendship. <laughs> to friendship. I love you, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like one bite of granola. It's going to taste just like, like oh crust my God. pizza. It's like being fed by the Amazonian goddesses. <laughs> <laughs> Hand fed. <laughs> the best like fucking Amazon granola bar ever. Home. Yeah. Yeah. And so by the end of the, we wake up the next day and all of the windows, it's a corner suite. So mm. it's all like a bunch of windows. They all have a hundred hand and face prints on them. <laughs> like it's your kids, You're like, like what the, fuck the backseat window of your yeah. car with the kids always on it. And we're like, <laughs> times a hundred. Like, yeah, times a hundred. It was like, this is a mess. All right, lower the shades, and we're not going to say a word about it. We just leave. <laughs> so the maids probably came in there like, that day, opened the shades, and like, what the fuck happened like, here? Otra vez? <laughs> no. I remember one time we, we at one point we uh, turned on the fo- we was like cold in there because we were sweating so much because mm-hmm. that's what it makes you do, and you're all hyper. And so we're like, oh man, we got to turn down the AC because. I'm burning up over here. Like I was wearing glasses and they kept fogging up from like, <laughs> yeah. And so I set the AC like to like 65. I was like, just blast it. It's not my AC bill. Yeah. Let's turn it on full Didn't blast. Deal with it. And so then at some point we're like, man, we're freezing. <laughs> I need to warm up somehow. And so my boy turns on the faucet, the hot lever all the way. <laughs> <laughs> puts his hand under the running water oh. and it's there's you know it's just the hot lever it's not the cold lever so it's burning hot it's like scalding he puts his hand under it and he leaves it underneath there and he's like oh my god it's boiling just the way i need it <laughs> what <laughs> what i need this <laughs> nate's gonna pee on himself <laughs> I'm sorry, every time I hear it, <laughs> I, I've known that line, but the boy, just like I need it, just the way I need it. That's that's, that's a saying that we say to each that, other. That is that uh, became a long running joke, and it is still relevant. Oh, legacy. To this day. oh my god, it's boiling. Just, just the, the way, way I, I need it. it. Oh, dude, you guys can figure out how to work at the can thermostat, do, we can't figure but out. the faucet. Nothing. Can't figure out any controls. I mean, we're we're seeing like we were looking down. Oh my god, we were lo- we. <laughs> I got to show you like a picture somehow because you know how like in that city center there's Vidara and the Aria and mm-hmm. the Cosmos and there's that like circle there's in the, the center. With, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's all those canoes and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the canoes. So we're looking I down. I can imagine looking we're at those looking canoes down from the up canoes there. And the lights, because it's dark out at this point. And so it looks like the top of a pineapple. Okay. And so we're like, oh, my God. Can you imagine the size of the pineapple underneath the earth? <laughs> <laughs> that compares to that pineapple top that's growing out. God, we we got to eat it. We, I want to eat that, that pineapple. Can I get, maybe and if we, there was a service <laughs> that you could call to get that giant to the, pineapple. To the room. 
<laughs> and like you call him up. A, you call him up. You're like, <laughs> hey, um, how do we get that giant pineapple downstairs up here? You're like, look, <laughs> we can see the pineapple from here. <laughs> We just need you so to bring it up. We know what you know. We know what exists. So I know <laughs> you guys know how to get it. So we want to get that to us. Stop. They're just like, what the fuck, <laughs> sir <laughs> or ma'am? We don't know what you and are. If it was a giant roundabout there, where like the valet is and all that, so you yeah. see cars coming in and out. From continuously, like the, continuously, and so we're like, oh my god, it's like a giant heart with the ventricles and the blood. What? Coming in and out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were seeing some shit, and we could see like on the I fifteen anytime like someone would get pulled over, and so oh the flashing, we lights. would see the flashing lights, and mm-hmm. we'd be like, oh those lights are so pretty, and be like, ha you got busted, bitch! <laughs> Yell at the window, Yelling that's right, at bitch. the window, you got busted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they probably have weed on. Did you, yeah, guys? see things that weren't there well i just i mean no 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 no. besides the pineapple yes no psychedelic no 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 when you um things that things that you that you didn't that weren't sometimes if you close your eyes you'll see like fucking like a kaleidoscope kaleidoscope Uh looking type Uh shit but mostly it's stuff that's already there that looks different okay like i'm saying like that the pineapple pineapple, Uh and that look like a heart it's not like you see stuff that's not there. It's the okay. stuff that is there turns mm-hmm. into something else. Okay. Yeah. I've never that's done That's how you get LSD. when you see art that's like one thing and then it's like uh, melded into another thing. Like, you know that motherfucker was on LSD or something. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm convinced. You were fine with LSD after this experience. Yeah. I mean, it was awesome. So okay. Then, so was that the first happened? time? That was no. the first time I ever did it. Okay. That we, any of us any, ever did it. Uh, that was the first time. And you were like, this is the shit. I'm we're doing like, it again. This is the shit. I'm doing it again. <laughs> and I went to a music festival uh, with in California the with the same bachelor. Okay. Because he married. moved to California after uh-huh. he got married. And so it was a massive, you know, music festival. Mm-hmm. with. Uh, it was on the port of, um, doesn't matter. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Long Beach or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. It was Long Beach, the port or whatever. So it was right in the water. And it was like the day before Halloween. But you know, sometimes like you go to EDC and people are all dressed up because it's EDC. So yeah. they have like, they're wearing wild shit or weird makeup. Lots of tutus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kinds of shit is there. And you're like, what? But it was the day before Halloween. So it was that normal dress upness plus it's Halloween. Dress upness. So people are there. Hashtag with dress just up-ness. crazy, <laughs> yeah, just crazy <laughs> costumes and makeup and all that. And we're tripping on balls. tripping. <laughs> and so we're like, are these people real? Are these guys <laughs> coming to get us? <laughs> and uh, so was this your first experience out in the world on LSD? No, I think there was one in between these two. Okay. Where I was. And um, you, it's all in your head. Like you think I can't handle being in front of other people. Yeah. But then you actually do it and you're like, oh, I can have a normal conversation just fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure if. I talked to you for long enough, you'd start to pick up on like this guy. Yeah, he's on some shit. Guy's on some shit. <laughs> Nate's like, I was on the phone. But you could know. like, you could probably order food, and they might not notice or just don't care. They're just like, oh, another guy on LSD. I mean, yeah. so that every Tuesday. Yeah. Are you sure? Your you pupils can order are like. Food? Shh. I did it. I did. Yeah. yeah I did. I've almost had to step in for you. Almost. Almost. A yeah. Couple times. Well, so I'll tell you the story of of the mushrooms. The plastic burrito. Of the plastic burrito. The plastic the mushrooms. burrito. <laughs> yeah, that one. No, that, that was a fun one. Yeah. So <laughs> there was the bachelor, me, and the third guy for the LSD. Mm-hmm. Well, this time it was the third guy and me, and Nate was going to trip set us. Yeah, yeah. he was the DD. I, I, I was coming along <laughs> with them, and they were doing shrooms. And again, I said I don't mess with that. Uh-huh. So I just said. I'll watch. I'll make sure they're safe. <laughs> oh, sure what a good friend you are. <laughs> and you're the devil kid. Yeah. yeah. And it's really him that's up to all the yeah, shit. It was me. because you know, he had his dad's house for a weekend or something. His dad was out of town or something. So that's just what we do. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think Nate should tell this story because I've been talking okay. for the LSD but story. <laughs> okay. uh, it, it's a slightly different perspective. I'm trying to, yeah, remember. I'm trying I to remember more of it because like, I got there. It takes like 45 minutes for it to kick in typical mm-hmm. like edible kind of thing mm-hmm. and um 
over time, like, you know, they, I was talking to him and trying <laughs> to, time. I was trying to keep him engaged and everything, you know, because with shrooms, unlike, you know, LSD, it's not as much, but with shrooms, it can go downhill really, really fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to keep him, you know, up, active, doing stuff, good vibes kind of thing. Puppy. And, uh, like, it was like, I could watch him slow. The entire <laughs> like, over, the, over that first hour, like, they went from talking normal to just bringing it down as like, like the bigger their poopers got the f- slower <laughs> their <we> speech <laughs> like it got to a point like i think by like an hour after it had set in they would they could stop mid-sentence like i'd be talking to them and they'd say oh yeah i remember when <laughs> start staring and start drifting in his face <laughs> just zoned out real quick yeah and so if I remember, it was like what it lasts like eight hours or something like that. Yeah, it's like and eight to twelve. That's a so long time. It is a yeah. long time. So like four hours into it, I oh. I started getting hungry. Okay, because it was like eight o'clock at night. I hadn't eaten since lunch, right? Now. So I te- I get to them and I'm like, "So you guys hungry? You know, you know, we can go get food or anything." You know, I was gonna mm. be the the designated driver for all this and everything, of course. And they're like, "Oh yeah, no, I could totally eat. I'm starving." So I corral them into the back seat of my corral. car like like have to like basically lead them across because <laughs> his dad lived in a <clears throat> condo at the time so i i was parked like towards the front gate so i had to like get them out of the house lock the house take his house key to do so <laughs> and get like to navigate the neighborhood and everything just to get to the car mm. so yeah i had to that like was- like, journey number one yeah i'm not sure if you've ever seen like you know how like kindergartners or things like that you know you all hold hands with your buddy cross your arms in the hallway and, like i i had to full-on like give them the okay eyes forward you know like the, the single pep, file line single file like the full You're like hug yourselves and make a bubble hug yourselves yeah. and make a bubble like, <laughs> like the full pep talk to get them out out of the house, down the stairs, to the street, and to the car. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> without it, us running off and like, yeah, Ooh, what's without that? without them being like, oh, I swear I saw something over there, and going off and getting sidetracked or something. Yeah, like I swear if I I would like turn around and one of them would be staring at a bush or something. Like, yeah, <laughs> you think there's something in there? I saw something in there. <laughs> something in there. Yeah. It was like laser focus. I need the burrito. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just like I just want Del Taco, man. Like, <laughs> Can we just go? So I get them. I get them both of them into the back seat of the car because there was no way I could focus with one of them pat riding passengers. No. Oh my god, we'd be like grabbing the steering they'd be, wheel. They'd be like Shit. pulling the handbrake so, or something. Let me show you. Like like what does this do? And like, <laughs> um, just throw it in reverse. So by the way, I get them in. We drive. We go to Del Taco. I'm like, okay. So do we want to hit a drive through or? And they're like, I don't know. I can't make up my mind so i'm like okay we'll just go in so that way they no can no that was a bad idea <laughs> i know it was a bad idea but i also thought it would be hilarious <laughs> like, this gotta, is the moment you gotta keep keep in mind i am like stone cold sober yeah. for this entire the entire thing so i i needed some kind of entertainment <laughs> These guys are having fun. It's my turn. Yeah. yeah. So I, I get the two of them into the Del Taco. And we, I say, okay, stand here. Look at the menu. Decide what you want. <laughs> so I stand in front of them. I'm like, okay, I'll go first. You know. <laughs> and I just start taking a while. I'm like waiting for him to speak up. So I'm turning to him like, do you know what you want? And Mike's like, I think I know. And then I look at the other guy, third guy. And he's like sweating. <laughs> like, Too much pressure. Like we're like we're talking. And he's not quite red yet, but you can see like a wrong hair. Was like, he trying to deal with the pressure of ordering, or was he just like, like sweating? Ordering, normal? It, like trying to order and everything, being out yeah. public. Like we're talking. He was. He didn't quite lose his color yet, um, <laughs> but he was like stone cold, like staring at the menu and everything. So I'm like, okay, where are these so things? many options? <laughs> yeah. But either way, we all decided we were hungry. We all order somehow. The two of them made it through. Uh-huh. I was like smiling uncontrollably <laughs> while I'm <Yeah>. ordering. <laughs> I so think, I think there were like what's up, what what like I was smiling at them, and the guy's like what, and I was like oh nothing. I just kept. <laughs> yeah. But either way, we all we all get our food, we get our drinks and everything, and I'm like okay, we're gonna eat here, we're gonna go, and they're like okay, well we'll eat here. 
So we sit down. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> we grab a we grab a table at the Del Taco. I feel like Nate's just fucking with you guys 100%. all night long. <laughs> and, and they're like, "Okay, good. I'm starving." So they open their food, and I'm eating mine. And I notice both of them are staring at me. <laughs> yeah, they haven't touched their food. They like they like took the burrito, they unwrapped it, set it out all nice, and then did this. Just <laughs> Like, hands in the lap hands on their knees like rubbing their knees yeah <laughs> how do you work this thing, Wait, man? Man? You work this thing? <laughs> all these controls he's he's got the blankest look i've ever seen on his face he does like not know in what to my do. life and third guy is sweating like profusely you know what i'm talking like the color has left his body like ghost burrito like, I, I, but he's sitting like this like full-on like yeah yeah he's arms like in front of him in the thinker like mode. like praying over the burrito <laughs> and like, like please god let me know how to eat yeah, this <laughs> like he's not even like with this realm anymore he is like i swear you like you need wanted to walk up to him like take his temperature or something be like uh dude don't need to take you to the er for anything. Yeah. like <laughs> this was both of our first time doing shrooms okay. yeah well, either way with all this i finished my food before they've even touched it <laughs> <laughs> they're still staring at him Okay. Well, so, that's not really saying a lot, though. Yeah. But I know, yeah, I know. I eat, but, <laughs> you eat but, like 30 seconds. Yeah, but I'm sitting across from him, and third guy's sitting next to me at the next mm-hmm. table over. So he's on the booth side. And I'm I'm just like watching him have this existential crisis this whole time. <laughs> so it's a crisis. Yeah. By the time I finish my food, I get up and I throw it away, and I come back, and he hasn't moved. So I, I ask him, I'm like, so uh, I thought you said you were hungry. <laughs> I have to like... You know, <laughs> Snap out of it. And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I was. I'm like, okay, so why don't you eat? You know, like, he, and he, this is quotes from him. Yeah. He's like, I just don't think I can. It doesn't look edible. <laughs> and I'm How like, what do, you, what do you mean it doesn't look edible? It's a burrito. You ordered it. We go to Del Taco all the time. <laughs> and. He's like, I know it's a burrito, and I know we come here a lot, and I get this frequently, but it's just, it's not edible. It's like, say you're at your house sitting on your couch, and you're like, hey, I'm hungry. And then you look to your right, and you see a lamp. You don't think that's food. Like, it's like, <laughs> when, when, you look, when you look at the lamp, you're like, that's, I can't he eat that. He said this? Yes. This is a direct this. quote from me. While he's tripping balls. <laughs> and, you don't eat the lamp. <laughs> And he's like, so that's what it's like. I get that same feeling when I look at this burrito. It's like looking at a lamp. Oh it's my like, god! It's like it's made of plastic. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat the lamp burrito. Uh, that's not right. And so, do you remember this? Robert? Yes, I do, hundred okay. percent. And it, to be honest, I think they fucked up and made like the worst. Because I ordered that same burrito Dude, all the it, time. It was it literally the same exact burrito you get every time. No. No. I refuse to believe I that. I got the same exact burrito that same night, so I can tell you. <laughs> it was all in your okay, head. Okay, so what about the other guy? But it, uh, the, the other guy was still just sweating. I, I could not even get his attention. <laughs> he so, so, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at, like, I'm looking at the tortilla, and the tortilla looks like plastic. Like, I can knock on it. I'm like... I'm not going to eat this. And then I, I take one bite and I see in there, it looks like fake. It's supposed to be bacon, fries, and meat. Yeah. What is this burrito? It's called the Epic Steak and Potato Burrito. Uh, okay. Del Taco. And there's bacon in it? Yeah. Oh. And the bacon looks like faking, like the vegetarian bacon. <laughs> yeah. And the fries look all. Faking. Yeah. yeah. Everything in they there. They gave me looks... Barbie toys. They gave yeah. me Play Doh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Play Doh food. <laughs> seriously yeah and i'm like i can't eat this yeah so, so and then the third guy is like uh <laughs> he's out of it and he um he just he's, he's sitting there praying to the gods and he just turns to me and he's like mike you're a cool guy okay <laughs> yeah i was like that's about buddy. all that's all he said he, all that's night. all he said for like six during hours during that trip like okay. during that that del taco trip <laughs> okay and so, literally like we got two bites through our burrito yeah and I, it's like i'm not sitting here all day 
wrap it up to go. So I helped. We'll I kind of. I kind of helped them corral their burritos back into <laughs> one bag. Got them back in the car and went back to the like house. Two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> so would you do it again? I did. I do it again. Or yeah. What did I did do you? Did you? I did, oh, you do, did it do it again. A lot since then. No. No. A lot? I, I, no. 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 I've only <laughs> done. I've only done. Do you mushrooms. watch them every time, Nate? No, no, but whenever okay. I get a chance. Oh. I did mushrooms one other time. Why are you holding water. up your fingers with the two if you say one other time? Because there's two, two total times. Two, okay. two total times. Time times before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second time was 3.5 grams. Oh, God. Versus the 2.5. Dude. Why would... Okay. <laughs> and so... Why? Yeah. Why are you doing this to yourself? That, what are you trying to eat that, that burrito that was time? But okay, okay. When I stopped. That's I felt like uh I never really did the marijuana when mm, I was, that when was, marijuana. When I was a young never person. Never injected marijuana. No, I never did the marijuana. It's a gateway drug. No. Yeah. Um, so I never did it and then this is a very new thing for me. So when I did it the first few times, I felt like I just need to get away from the high, and I hated yeah, it. That's, like, I just want to get away from this. How do I make this stop? That's exactly what happened to me on yeah. that second mushroom trip. Like, please, but someone it's 12 make... hours. Oh, no, 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 no. Because it was, I was like, I have to go to sleep because I can't live right now. I feel like I'm going to yes. die. Like, my yeah, heart's going to explode, go to sleep. and yes. I'm going to die. All and of those feelings. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, you poor That's thing. what a bad trip is <laughs> like. Yes, that's what it was. And and it's like that, but worse. <laughs> and it's and you know it's like eight more hours of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's horrifying. I felt my body turn into an accordion that opened up. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> that opened up to the side and just, I don't know. I felt like there was a tiny man in my brain. With like joysticks controlling my body, and I'm like, See, this has to these stop. motherfuckers come up with these ideas. Yes, it is. <laughs> the you. walls were different colors. I remember my <laughs> senses got all turned around. Okay. I was tasting what I was smelling, mm. and I was like smelling what I was hearing. <laughs> Okay. And seeing what I was saying, I can I was hear playing. my hair you were growing. Seeing yeah. what you were saying, yes. Yeah, so like you I saw would, words coming out of your. I head. would, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, imagine like tenacious D, the juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I was playing drums, and I would hit like the crash cymbal, and wait, then I would wait. taste something. <laughs> you were playing drums. Yes, <laughs> the guy had a drum set, and I was very quietly tapping the drums because mm. he was in a town home. Mm -hmm. And so it was like a year or two until I did that LSD thing. Mm -hmm. And then I think my last LSD experience where I was like had the same sort of thing. I have a <laughs> I have in my possession <laughs> a eyedropper about two inches tall mm -hmm. full of liquid LSD. Okay. One little drop of a dropper uh -huh. is one tab. Okay. And it's full. <laughs> So it's like 50 tabs. Whoa. Okay. What are you going to do with this? Uh -huh. Is that your in the I world plan? I am scared <laughs> of that fucking thing. So you can't dose it He walks it right. into his room every night and stares at it. And stares don't, back at him. Don't, it stares don't back me. at him. Don't hurt me. <laughs> like, it's in the back of my medicine cabinet. Like, you demon. You stand in the <laughs> demon. That, that would be a fun thing to automate, like grab accidentally out of the medicine yeah. cabinet. Yeah. Because right. if you right. high, you would still get <laughs> fucked up. Yes. Yeah. Worse. You start seeing shit. Because <laughs> even worse. If you put that in your eyes, it goes directly into your bloodstream. Yeah. yeah. Right away. Yeah. You're going to fucking freak out. So, <laughs> oh. so here's the thing if you do a tiny little drop, yeah. um, you feel nothing. You're okay. like, oh, this is like I had one edible of weed. It's like not a full experience. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay. And then you do like a 1% bigger drop and you go to fucking Mars. Okay. <laughs> and so there's no in between. <laughs> I can't figure out how to fucking put the right amount on me to, um, and it absorbs through your skin. I'm doing this motion where I okay. put it in my hand. You drop it on the back of your hand and it's so Oh, so in. you don't put it in your mouth. Big mistake. Okay. I did that initially, and I put in way too much. It was almost like a squirt <laughs> oh, of fuck. the dropper. So maybe like three fucking okay. tabs. Put it on a little piece of paper. Yeah. I haven't figured it out. So that's what I did. That's like and 101. I'm in a that's hotel like LSD room. 101. I'm in a hotel room <laughs> in California, in LA, 
with my bachelor boy. Bachelor boy? Bachelor boy. <laughs> And it's like 8 a.m. I'm like, I'll have the whole day and I'll be tripping. Yeah. And I have to check out of my hotel room. Okay. Because I'm leaving that day. And I was going to go to my boy's place, play some video games or whatever, and then dip. But I had to check out of the hotel room. And I'm calling my boy and he's asleep. He's not picking up. I'm like, fuck. And I can feel... And I know I did too much when I did the squirt. I was like, fuck. Oh, that's when you did the squirt? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. And I was like... This is going to be bad. And so I was like, well, let me get some food in me to maybe like. Oh, it'll definitely offset it. I don't know no. what I was thinking. <laughs> no. I don't know what I was thinking. I was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to McDonald's and I'm like, I need to order my food and eat it before I start fucking climbing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I order some food and I start eating it. And I'm in my car eating my McGriddle because it's like 9 a.m. Wait, you're driving? It gets better. (laughs) Where was Nate to protect you from this situation? I was in Vegas. By myself in LA and driving in LA is hell. Yes. And my boy's not answering his phone. And I'm like eating this food and I can already tell this is going to be too much. (laughs) I have nowhere to go. I'm oh, just and doesn't in, he live like in Compton or something? He lives on Compton Avenue. Okay. Oh, fuck, dude. His house address is Compton Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Some numbers. <laughs> Some numbers. Yeah. Like 69, 420, Compton Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And so I'm like, well, I'm going to go for a drive. Oh, no. Up fuck, the dude. PCH. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. So I put on some Tame Impala, so which did you is have- some psychedelic music. Yeah. And so I'm driving up the PCH, and the wind is powerful. <laughs> and you know how when you drive in the wind and you got a crosswind and you have to steer into it? Mm-hmm. I'm doing that, driving up the PCH, going like 50, or, you know, and um, and it's a lot of turns and shit when you go up Malibu. Mm-hmm. I drove all the way to, like, Pepperdine. Fuck. <laughs> From the I-10. Yeah. So, uh you know, and the wind is going, so I'm like, got the Tame Impala blasted, and I'm nice. just fucking seeing my whole vision <laughs> corkscrew in this kaleidoscope fucking shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't steer my car. Let's go. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. And I'm just fucking, this is awesome. And then I'm like, all right, okay. so I did that. And, uh, <laughs> I got to I got to Pepperdine. And I was like, I can't drive to fucking Sacramento. I got to stop at some point. <laughs> I'll be in Oregon in five yeah. minutes. So <laughs> I just pull over to the side of the road, you know, people like right by the beach, mm-hmm. the side of the PCH. And I'm like, can I park here legally? Like, I don't know how that works in California. I don't see any don't park here signs. I see all kinds of RVs parked here. Am I allowed to be parked here? Because you can't fucking park anywhere in LA without paying. And so I'm just sitting in my car, like listening to music and I'm freaking out. I'm like, should I leave my car running? I'm going to burn all my gas. So I turn it off. Oh, shit. And then it's like, I'm burning. It's like summer. So I'm burning up. I'm like, oh, God, I need the AC. Turn it back on. AC's blowing. I'm wasting gas. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> like, my starter motor doesn't like this. I got to stop. And so I get out of the car. I'm like, people are going to think I'm weird because I'm just standing by my car by the beach. In jeans. In jeans. <laughs> I get back in my car. It's hot. Turn on the car. And I still, it's like 11 o'clock now or like 12 o'clock. PM? Um, no, no, no. It's yeah. um, the afternoon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I it's know noon. it's the afternoon. It's noon. That's what I'm asking, Frank. So I, <laughs> I dosed at like 8 a.m. It's noon. He's not picking up. I'm like, this motherfucker is sleeping in. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know if I can park here. State patrol is going to come up and shoot me or something. Oh, definitely. 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 It is LA. <laughs> exactly. So I don't know. I don't live here. I'm just having this like existential crisis of like, am I a good person? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if they knock on my door, will they know I'm bad? <laughs> I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad person. I need and a the sound of the waves. You know what a delay pedal sounds like? Where you hit the note once and it's like, you know, it goes off and delays into the... Every sound that is made has that effect. And so the waves crashing is like this infinite fucking... Like an, like an echo. Yeah, an yeah. infinite echo. 
And so I just hear the waves crashing, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's so beautiful and frightening at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, oh, shit. It? I have to pee, but I don't want to pee right now. Where am I supposed to pee? <laughs> And then it's like fucking, yeah. (laughs) So I'm like, can I go in there? And then finally, um, my boy picks up the phone. I'm like, you bitch. I've been tripping balls for four hours. (laughs) Freaking the fuck out. You're not answering your phone. He's like, bitch, you didn't wait for me to start? And he just doses. (laughs) He's like, I got to get up to your level. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So then we go to like the museum. um, The one with the big dinosaur right by the Coliseum. Yeah, uh, the Natural History Natural Museum. History Museum. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm... Our members. Boom. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I'm freaking out in there because, like, I'm in public and everyone's voices sound like fucking background That's why they have all the, like, the, di- the dioramas. Is that what they call them? Yeah. Where yeah. The all, animals. It, the the real room, stuffed animals. Yeah. yeah. The, the real yeah. stuffed yeah. animals, yeah. Areas, that must have been trippy It was fuck. fucking crazy. So we're <laughs> losing it. trying to and start home a fire. Boy, <laughs> homeboy... Brought his wife. <laughs> what was she tripping too? Or no, was she, or she uh, designated trip, watcher. She does not know that we're both. <laughs> what? Come on, she she does. She's not into that. She doesn't approve of that, and oh, she's no. not. She doesn't, she doesn't have that sense. Well, she probably <laughs> like could tell said. something was off. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't know. She's never been around that kind of stuff. She's like probably similar to how you would be. Yeah, and um, like she smoked weed a couple times. Mm-hmm. And we're all like, oh, my God, look at the fangs on that thing. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I mean, I guess that's cool. <laughs> like, why are you guys so excited about, I mean, like, the color of the fur? But like, if, you're in 12, like, 12 year olds. If you think about how all of us in our friend group kind of act normally, then... We're always very over the top and, like, just making ironic jokes Like, I could see where shit. the confusion would be with this with Yeah, this so life. she thought like, we were maybe, just fucking around. Yeah, that's just like maybe being you are ironic when you're about it or whatever. Yeah, it's just how we all work. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine walking through there. Dude, it was fucking insane. And so then it's 5 o'clock. I have to get home because it's Sunday. <laughs> um, and I'm like, I'm still fucking on another planet. <laughs> oh, and you got to drive all the and way I have back to, to drive Vegas? All the way back to Vegas. Oh fuck! Because you have work, on and it's Monday. getting dark. It's getting dark, and <laughs> to be at work in twelve. All hours. of the yeah. signs. You know how they have those signs like "crash it this place," you know, like on the highway. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, like um, for like accident. Like there's traffic ahead. Mm-hmm. All of the signs read "gusting winds up ahead." Use caution. Oh, it's the no. same yeah. shit. I'm having to steer into the fucking <laughs> The whole it's like, time. It's Malibu all over again. Yeah, like, what? what am I going to do? And I get to Cajon Pass and I see a police helicopter oh, fly no. overhead. Like, and oh. then I see in front there's a, a police um, California CHP uh-huh. doing that thing where they swerve from lane oh, to lane. To try to keep the traffic, traffic control yeah. or something. And I'm like, oh my God, they got me. They, they found me. They found me. These motherfuckers. And then there was like, you know, it stopped. It brought traffic to a complete stop. And I'm just sitting there. Like in a gridlock, and I'm like, oh fuck, you know, is there gonna be a shootout? Because I saw some guys getting arrested <laughs> on the side of the road, so I don't know why they stopped traffic for that. But there's some guys like pinned down to the ground, and then there's helicopters, damn, and fucking flashing lights everywhere. I'm like, they got me. Oh my god, <laughs> they're setting up a perimeter because <laughs> I dosed eight hours ago. Yeah, I totally. <laughs> they, fell they got falling. the helicopter. Yeah, they, they, you're like, they sure did put a lot of resources I into know, finding man. me. <laughs> How did they know? Somehow I made it home. Like $12 million to today. find this kid who took a dose of shrooms. <laughs> I don't think I've done it since then. <laughs> that was the last time. Yeah. Just the way I need it.